What's up people? Today I'm going to change my diff fluid, the center diff in the Armin fraction to 300,000k. This is one from Yeah Racing. I tried it in my Kyosho and a lot of uh, cards and I like it a lot. So the issue is uh, the bar sometimes going in front more or in the back more. I want to put a little thicker oil, uh, silicon oil. So this is uh, differential gear oil. Remember, the thickness is 300,000. I can go higher, of course, but let me try the 300,000. Stock is coming inside, 100,000. So to do this, first you need to remove your one screw here it was for your uh, brace that's it put it aside then you need to remove all the four screws on the top cover of your transmission one two three four in your diff case center diff after you remove it you will find in your infraction your spar gear attached to the differential so pull it up be careful with your shaft good time to do maintenance and check your shafts if they are damaged on or need replacement remember the long one is at the back of your car the short one short one is in front here is the short shaft so you have two sizes of here they are yeah and here is your differential after we pull it out it has two bearings two drive cups this is the stock arma infraction center diff so you have to open one two three four screws to change the flow inside also you can check all your teeth if you need replacement, you can check your gear again. Mine looking good <laughs> still. It's 46 teeth, I believe. Yeah, 46 teeth from Arma and Fraction. Uh, the limitless is coming with the spool. There is no diff here. So the spool will be one piece of pull. There is no diff so you are locked completely but here you have move you can move it easy so this direction can go reverse in this direction for bashing of course you need a diff not a spool if you are going for top speed runs use the spool but i prefer the diff because i'm doing a lot of bashing in my infraction the most awesome design RC car in the world, really. Arma Fraction. Arma did it well. I love their design a lot, a lot, a lot. One of you guys asked me about this fan. This is the YR. I use it on my motor. Again, because I bash it a lot, I decided to not overheat the stock motor and put a tornado fan. High speed, attached it direct to the receiver box inside and it's nice so without further ado, do let's open up the diff and change the fluid oh man I have this tool here it will make my life much easier much much easier so let, let's do it
moment of the truth. <laughs> What's this? Oh my god. Let the camera focus. It's almost empty. So I need a brick cleaner to change this fluid. Look, look how it's. Let me do it. This is the brick cleaner I used. It's doing the job. Let's start picking the uh, silicone oil from down. It moves really nice, but not nice enough. It's not going down. So I need to pull some with my finger or use a spoon, small spoon or something. Let me find it out in your death, don't forget to remove the seal. The seal is going to protect your liquid going outside or the dust going inside your death. And you have to put it back again once you finish cleaning your old diff. And uh, oh man, the new liquid is really a mess. Guys, let them soak. Use gears and the brake cleaner. I'll let them sit about an hour or more. I will see. the holes for the screws and you align your holes in the diff cover and that's it do not hold. here we go double check them This is thicker. <laughs> yeah, thicker. Not by much, but thicker. So, with one hand on the spur gear, I barely can move it. So the motor are going is going to give front and back the same power almost. So 300,000 K by racing again. Let me check it. Quick thing guys before you just don't clean with WD-40 my advice because if if you clean you need to have something like this the bearing <laughs> the bearing lubricant because the WD-40 are going to destroy your bearings unless you have bearing lubricant so you can lubricate them again and we will put this back in remember the spur gear facing the motor like this and the plastic part 
here of your differential facing the rear of the car the back and the other shaft in the front just to your brace up watch out for the bearing place and slide it down with your motor yes good time also to check your mesh back again if there is any mesh problem or all in good shape and form this is nice the cover goes back you can recognize it with arma written here like this this is your motor here so and this is the motor side you will put it back as it is just make sure I'll move these wires in front of your way so you can see it and slide it like this can use the same tool for manual just to not over tight it and finally you're back the brace with the screw from this side from the motor side you just put it back in no need to over tight plastic parts i'm going to put two packs of gen ace batteries so switch on the remote attach the battery and put the car on the stand kind of stand let's go Let's do it. It's so nice, so strong, and distributing the bar, I think it's perfect. How it distributes the bar in front and rear, so 300,000 for now, I like it, I hope you like it, like, share, subscribe guys, love you all, thanks. Always do maintenance to your RC trucks, look at these stones I found on my chassis lying down, imagine this goes <laughs> between your gears, oh my god.